it's our first run. You know, it's always a big thing to just get it out there and run your first mission with it. Making sure all the hardware operates correctly, making sure your data is stored correctly. You just see it's a different world down there. You're good. Yep. There's a sense of adventure when you take a robot to a place it's never been before and, and you kind of send it off, requiring the imagination and the inventiveness early explorers had when they were going places that they had never seen. A lot of the ocean is mapped right now just using satellites and really super low resolution and having things like this go out and map to a millimeter scale will be very interesting to see what's down there. So we're using robotic technology, particularly um, AUV, so autonomous underwater vehicles. What we do is we take this stock off the shelf vehicle and we've modified it with cameras so that we can not only understand what's down there but also understand the size and distance of things. These are 8 megapixel high-res cameras and also our own lighting system. We have to be able to merge these images together into a nice mosaic. From these images we can pull out depth features and kind of track these features using what's known as SLAM algorithm, simultaneous localization and mapping. Our target depth is going to be about two meters above the surface for running these bottom scans. It'll dive and then go across, you know, in the area that it's interested in, in a straight line, and at the end of that line, it should pop up, turn around, and then move over a little bit and come back the same way. So we call that like the lawnmower. Uh -huh. It just dove right behind us. Okay. okay. It's coming towards us, though. Okay. All right, we went back. That's always really nerve-wracking when the vehicle should be back and you're looking at your watch and wondering where it is and it's a huge relief when it finally pops up and is just sitting there. Ultimately we'd like to see robots like this deployed and, and running for months or years gathering data, returning that data to scientists and enable us as human beings to do things that we couldn't do before. I think that technology will help us better understand nature and preserve what we have of it. You see technologies that have contributed to destroying it. I think these are some of the technologies that will help us preserve it. <laughs>